Hello fellow Gmod players. Uh, this is a video I was supposed to do a long time ago, as I promised, but uh, kind of procrastinated. Never got around to it. But here it is. This is my video tutorial on how to get WireMod for Gmod 13. So first thing first, we go to wiremod.com for installation. This is the instructions on how to actually install it, and we're going to follow the steps. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Let's go. Step 1. Get Turtus SVN. You need Turtus SVN to install, or not, I mean, to download the wire mod. Okay. So, first thing, at Turtus SVN, go to the tab that says Downloads. From here, pick your version that you need 32 bit or 64 bit. I need the 64 bit, so I click 64 bit. You download, should start, and you should get Turtus SVN. I already have it downloaded, so I'll skip to that right now. Um, now I'm going to warn you, the installer, the way it runs, it's only a little different. Right now I have it installed, so if I run it, I don't think I'm going to get any option to repair it. Um, it's always going to be a little different each time. You, like, I've tried uh, different times, and each time it's a little different. So, like right now, it says I'm going to need a reboot to install it. And after the installation finishes, if it's not running correctly, you might have to reboot it. So it says I have to restart. All right now, look, if I right click, if I get the SVN checkout and turn to SVN, then it means it's working. But if you don't get those menus, then you should restart after the installation. You should restart anyway, but yeah. But once you have turn to SVN, that's like the hardest part here. Go back to the guide and step, skip to step three. Step three, we need to get this link into a folder. So first, we're going to create a folder. Call it wire. And then next, we're going to copy this link. Link address, copy link address on step three. Right click on the folder. Go down to SVN checkout. And the link should be pasted up here automatically. And we hit OK. Uh, this will take around two minutes for me to complete once it gets started up. I'll let you see what it looks like so you know what to expect. So it starts downloading files like this one at a time. And yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so it's completed. So it's completed at revision 2045. So it's going to be different depending on when you do this. There's because uh, WireMod is always updating, and every time there's an update applied to WireMod, SVN Turtus will update your WireMod automatically. Once it's done, it should say the time down here, transfer then the time it took. So hit OK. And now we have this folder that's ready for WireMod. I'm also going to do a quick one for Advanced Duplicator since um, the website offers that. So let's hit Advanced Dupe and make a folder. It doesn't matter what you name it. Come over here, step number four, the link for advanced dupe. Right click it, copy link address, right click your folder, click on SVN checkout, left click, and the link should be pasted up here already, and hit OK. This one's much faster, it doesn't take two minutes. So you can watch it. Starts and it's done in three seconds. OK. There you go. Now you have the two files, or the one you need if you needed only one. Now we just, this is the easy part, we gotta take it to our Gmod folder, our add-ons folder, like you used to do back in Gmod 12, when add-ons were normal. Let's go to your, um, go to your computer. Normally you go to C Drive, Steam, Steam Apps, your Steam username used to log in. Here is my, for me it's in my data. Games and then Steam. After this, it should be the same for you. Steam and Steam Apps, my username, and Gary's Mod, and then Gary's Mod again, and then into add ons. All you gotta do, highlight, select these two, and then drag and drop into here. Wait for that to move in, or copy in this case. Uh, if you have your protection set on on Windows 7 or Windows 8 it might ask you you're moving files into your C drive 
Are you sure you want to move them? Make sure to say yes. I don't have my protections on, so it doesn't ask me. The little warning over there isn't a big deal. Probably go away later. I've done this multiple times. It's probably why it's showing that. Okay, that's it. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And see you guys soon.